Let's look at piecewise functions. Now, what is a piecewise function? Well, in math, you're, you may not be familiar with them, but you deal with them all the time. A piecewise function is a function that goes on a graph but doesn't have one steady straight line. It's got a separate line for each part. So let's start with a simple example. Admission fees. Admission fees are a good example of a piecewise function because you have different rates for different age. For example, uh, you know, admission fee for getting into a hockey game or a movie theater or something like that. If you're under 5, in our example, you'd get in for free. If you were from 5 to 12, it cost $6. And if you were over 12, it would cost you $10. Now let's look at what this looks like, or what the intervals are. Now under 5, mathematically we would write that as all the way from negative infinity up to 5, but not including 5. But uh, in the real world, you're not going to get somebody with a negative age. So if I look at the age, it would be from anywhere from 0 up to 5, but not including 5. 5 to 12, now that includes a 5-year-old, so I'm going to use a square bracket, 5, and also includes 12, up to 12. And over 12, well, that starts from 12 up to, I mean, there is a finite limit. You're not going to get someone living past about 120 or so, but I'm just going to put it up to infinity. Now, if I were to rewrite this as an actual piecewise function, let's call it uh, function C for cost with respect to age. Now, I'm going to have to write one piece for each of those intervals. So if you're under 5, the cost is $0. And that is if age is an element of 0 to 5. Now our next one is going to be $6 if A, if your age is in between, in between and including 5 to 12. And it's going to be $10 if your age is in between 12 and up. That's what the function looks like. Let's draw it next. The graph. Here I've got uh, our function of cost with respect to age. So I have the cost on the y-axis and the age on the x-axis. Let's put in each piece. Now, it costs zero dollars in between zero and five. Now it doesn't include five, so I'm going to put an open dot down here as well, and we would draw a line. Our next interval is $6. That's in between 5 and 12, but it includes 12 and 5. So at 5 years old, it's going to cost $6. And over here at 12 years old, it's going to cost $6 as well. Let's connect that with a line. There we go. And our last section goes from 12 and up. So, from 12 years old, it's going to cost you $10. But not quite on 12, so I'm going to put an open circle there. And this continues on. Now, it will continue on that way, so I'm going to put an arrow to indicate that it continues. That's what the function looks like. I have three distinct sections, so I'm going to have three distinct lines describing each part. If I look at a cell phone data plan, here's another example. Uh, starting with $65 data plan with 5 gigabytes of data, and $10 per gigabyte if you go over. Let's figure out our intervals first. Uh, let's, let's go with uh, cost with respect to gigabytes, so cost with respect to G. Now my interval in gigabytes here 
is from 0 to 5. That's our first interval, including 5, because, I mean, if you go, if you use exactly 5 gigabytes, you don't have to pay any extra. As soon as you go above 5 and up to infinity, you're paying an extra $10 per gigabyte. Okay? So if we write that out as a piecewise function, I've got two intervals. In our first interval, the cost of that cell phone plan is $65. And that is if G is an element of 0 to 5. Our, function, our cost is going to go up. So for the second one, it's going to start at $65 plus an extra charge. So it's going to be plus $10 now for every gigabyte over 5. So I'm going to say G minus 5. And this one is valid if G is an element all the way from 5 and up, 5 to infinity. Let's graph this so you can see what it looks like in a picture. If I graph this, here's what it looks like. Here's my cost with respect to the number of gigabytes that I'm using. I've got cost on the x-axis, and I've got the number of gigabytes on the y-axis. So that's how I've got those. So here is this first section, $65 if G if I use between 0 and 5 gigabytes. That's a constant one, so that's why I've got a straight line. But as soon as I hit 5 gigabytes, my price starts rising. And that's what this interval over here shows. Now that interval is going to keep on going. So I really should have an arrow, because if you know cell phone companies, it's your cost is just going to keep rising and rising and rising, and they'll charge you as much as they can. But that's what it looks like if you have a piecewise function.